Southern California is going through a heat wave right now. The temperature is hitting the triple digits. In the afternoon, the sun hits the garage door and turns the shop into an oven. The door often heats up to over 150 degrees Fahrenheit, which heats the shop to over 110 degrees. Today, it hit 120 degrees. There's no airflow or way to cool the room down, so I'm gonna remedy that problem by building a simple AC unit that pumps cooled water through tubing in front of a fan. Now, I just picked up the materials and it came out to right around 100 bucks. So this is the $100 homemade air conditioner. I started with an ordinary box fan. These run fairly quiet, so it won't create too much noise pollution. I took the face off, so it'll be easier to work with. I got a roll of copper tubing to attach to the face of the fan. This copper is great for this type of use because the metal will get cold from the water flowing through it and allow a cold breeze to flow through the shop. While stretching out the tubing to evenly cover the fan, I was sure not to kink the line. I then used zip ties to hold the copper in place. I popped the screen back on and turned on the fan to make sure the extra weight didn't affect the fan blades. It was still over 100 degrees, so I took a moment to enjoy the airflow. Next, I moved on to the cooler. I popped off the lid and removed the plastic bits to allow the lid to go on and off with ease. The pump that I got has a capacity of 80 to 150 gallons an hour. I did some pre-planning to figure out the tubing sizes. This pump allows for a 3 8 inch inner diameter tubing with an included adapter. So that was the starting number. I got some vinyl PVC tubing of that size. This also determined the size of the copper tubing. I marked and cut the spots for the in and out lines through the lid of the cooler. After splitting the 20 feet of vinyl tubing in half, I ran the lines through the lid. The electrical line for the pump needs an exit point, so I used a hacksaw to open up a part of the edge of the lid. Next, I used a bit of sealer on the holes on the top of the lid. I know the hole for the electrical cord will allow for some of the cold to escape, but the less openings, the better. Now onto the assembly of all the parts. The copper tube that I had has an outer diameter of 3 8 inches, which fits snugly in the vinyl tube. I connected those tubes and tightened them down with pipe clamps. The fan comes with little feet that I then ran screws into to keep the fan from tipping over. The last thing to do was to fill it with water and ice and turn it on. The 
the water flowed through the pipes without any leaks. And I think I found my new favorite spot in my shop on a hot day. Right in front of this fan. Let's go over the material list for this build and the cost of each item. Based on the materials that I bought, here's how much it cost. Cooler, $18. Box fan, $16. Fountain pump, $25. Copper tubing, $25. Final PVC tubing, $7. Zip ties, $6. Pipe clamps, $1. Sealer, $3. And that totaled to $102. But with the $10 coupon and tax, it came out to an even $100. I'll definitely be getting quite a bit of use out of this little machine during this hot season. That's it for now. See ya!